So once we got those primary frameworks and partition structures in place, we began to clad the enclosed kitchen. All the kitchen walls have a four brick upstand to match the masonry base walls in the guest houses of bungalows and also our anchored column bases in the restaurant. On top of this wall sits our bamboo frame, which is used to hang our cement board. This will be painted white and will later be clad with bamboo weaving. Our architect produced some different yin and yang inspired concept designs. Our doors and window frames, which had already been boxed out with bamboo, then needed propriety doors and window frames added. As well as our bespoke shaped window hatches that would be used to deliver food. These were nailed or drilled directly to our bamboo frames. The gaps will later be infilled both bamboo cuttings and epoxy to seal. That ventilation gap at the top of our walls was covered with cross-hatch bamboo weaving. And of course the roof was clad as per the rest of the structure, with a low overhang to expose the rafters and the pulupa from below. The kitchen floor was tiled to allow easier cleaning. For the air-conditioned bakery, we had a drop ceiling made of our bamboo weaving. This was sealed off to keep this enclosed room the correct baking temperature. What I really love about this cladding is how it accentuates the curvature of the bamboo and fits in around it.